everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw project video, have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a rustic welcome sign. I've already got all my patterns printed out to full size and attached to the material with clear packing tape. We're going to stack cut and make two of the sign. We're going to make one of the backer boards, so we'll finish one of the signs in this video, and I'll have another one to finish at my leisure. The pattern is a two-page pattern, and it's got a line down the middle where you cut the two out and just line it up and connect it with tape. Here is the design. It is a beautiful, rustic, southern welcome sign. I made this a long time ago for my aunt who lives out in the country, and she loved it, and I wanted to make some more and document it on video. It's got a lot of interior cuts. We're going to take our time with it over on the scroll saw. Being in the south, we are always welcoming. We've got Southern Hospitality down here where I'm at in North Carolina. But really, really cool. Really, really fun project. Since all the material is prepped and ready, we're going to head over to the drill press, drill all of our pilot holes so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we're going to take a small drill bit and drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And I'm not going to do all of the details that Steve has in the trees here. I'm just going to do enough to where you know what it is. The main focus is the word welcome and the rustic scene. But once we get all of our pilot holes drilled, we're going to go over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades for all of the cutting on this project. And since we're stack cutting, it is a total of half inch material with the two quarter inch pieces stacked together. Getting some of the smaller details before progressing on to the larger internal cuts. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. Doing some of the longer cuts here. Just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. Really a relaxing project to cut out. And also a good project if you're beginning in your scroll saw journey to try some smaller internal cuts. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I post over on Instagram regularly. With all of the internal cutting on this project, it took me around an hour and 15 minutes maybe to do all of the scrolling here. But again, I just took my time with it. We're on the final internal cut here and we'll put the blade back in and tension it and do the final outside cut which will release the scroll work from the wood. Then we will head over to the workbench and remove the two pieces and both of them are beautiful. And I'll take some half inch material and a washer here and trace around the perimeter of the sign to get a perfect background with a one quarter inch border all the way around. You've seen me use this technique often. And then we'll head back over to the scroll saw and use the same number five blade to cut it out and I don't know what kind of material this was but it cut extremely smooth now over to sanding with 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander I'll sand the front and back of both pieces and I will take the backer board outside and stain it with a dark stain to give the piece a rustic color and I'm using Minwax wood stain here and the piece honestly looked like dark walnut after it was stained and I wiped away the excess and after this dried outside 
it was back in the shop to glue the two pieces together with CA glue and I mashed it down and let it dry and then I took the piece back outside and gave it several coats of clear gloss and let that dry and the project was complete. And here we have the completed Southern Rustic Welcome Sign made completely on the scroll saw and it came out amazing. Thank you Steve Good for another amazing design from your awesome scroll saw pattern catalog. This came out amazing. Like I said, the clear coat we added at the end really brought the grain to the forefront and made everything pop and bring the textures of the grain out. I had fun making this. I hope you guys like watching me make this. It took me around an hour to scroll everything, the scroll work and the backer board. Then we had staining time, glue time, drying time with clear coat and all that. So a good morning's work out here in the workshop. I didn't break a blade making this whole project. Just took my time with some of those smaller details and all the details came out amazing. The word welcome in old school cursive, the trees, the leaves blowing in the breeze, the woodland creatures and then the farm here in the background really really cool and really really awesome and I think the darker stain on the backer board really makes this pop I know when I made this for my aunt a long time ago the backer board on hers was painted burgundy to match some of her decor and that also fits with the rustic theme but this really makes it look rustic and charming would look real good on a mountain cottage or something I know where I live in North Carolina southern hospitality is a key thing that we learned growing up and I know if you would take maybe a 15-20 minute drive to get out to the country or maybe even go a little bit farther, nine times out of ten you're going to see about every house have a welcome sign on it or something like that or maybe a welcome sign with the family name tacked to the mailbox at the driveway or something. But really, really cool. Really, really awesome. I had fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias are down in the description box below. Head over there, like, share, follow, and subscribe to everything to keep up with me and everything I'm doing. Really, really cool project and awesome welcome sign. All I've got to do now is add a hanger to it and I'll be able to display it proudly. That's about all for this video. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.